My name is Sarah Hernandez and I'm your first year experience librarian. In this video we're going to talk a little bit about project management and some tools and resources that you guys can use to make sure that you're on track. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is go to the library's homepage and you can find that at zula.libguides.com backslash library and once you're here you're going to go over to the top left and click on where it says LibGuides. Once you've done that, you're automatically going to see um, the various subjects that we have. You can also search by guides, so all the different LibGuides that we've all created. Or, and I suggest doing this, um, you can search by owner. I think this is kind of the easiest way if you know who your librarian is um, and what they've made or if they've come and talked to your class, this might be the easiest way to find all the things that you need. So for this, we're going to go by owner and then you're going to click my name, Sarah Hernandez, and we're going to go to the research toolkit. What the research toolkit is, it's a libguide that talks about um, pretty much each step of the research process and it breaks it down for you to um, so that it's in manageable chunks and so it also describes what you should be doing at each step. So the most important part for us for this project management side is this getting organized tab. So we'll go ahead and click on that and once you open it on the left you're going to see information about reference management software um, there are other videos in the libguide that talk about how to set that up and then on the right you're going to see this task and project management box and what this is is it's a list of various project management websites software and apps and descriptions of each of them and what they all do. I would suggest trying a few of these. Um, it really depends on your, I guess, study habits or just what you like um, aesthetically and then also if you like lists or not. Um, I do like them. So for me, I know Asana works best, but for others, maybe Trello works best. It's just kind of figuring out what you like. But before we do that, I want to also highlight this dissertation calculator. What this does is you enter your start date, let's say it's today, and your due date, let's say it's December 6th. You'll hit calculate and it'll tell you all of the steps you need to complete by a certain deadline in order to meet your final December 6th due date. This is really helpful if you've been assigned a research project but you don't have any other due dates between your assignment date and your final project due date. So this breaks it down and it tells you by September 30th, we need to have identified and refined our research question. And if you want more information on what that looks like, you can continue to read here on their site, or you can always go back to our LibGuide and um, see all the different resources that we've also collected for y'all. But to continue on with the dissertation calculator, so we see this date, our next major date is October 4th, and that's where we have to develop the research design and methodology, and it's gonna go on like this pretty much until your final due date. And it just tells you literally everything that you need to do. And so once we have these dates, we can go back to our LibGuide, go to our Getting Organized tab once again, and upload or input these dates in one of our software management systems. And I'm gonna show you two today. 
when you click on the links initially, it's going to send you to like an FAQ or a guide project or a guide, um, just like a general guide to um, get you acquainted with all of um, the resources and all of the cool things that their program does. So we'll go into Asana and you'll see your homepage. You can always go back to this Asana basics training, but I want to show you what I've already done just so that you guys can see what it looks like. So Asana is more list oriented. You can um, create something called a board and that's actually what Trello is. It's made up of boards. And it, what it, it really comes down to what you like best. So this is what Trello looks like. These are the boards. And so Asana can either do these lists like this or it can do boards. It really depends on um, how you like to see your information. It's also um, really customizable. So all of these things are things that I've filled in. I can even go in and edit it to say something completely different. I can add a overall description of what overall tasks means to me. I can um, create different tasks within this broad general task. I can even create subtasks within a task. You can also assign due dates this is where you would plug in your dates that you got from your dissertation calendar. And if you're working with a group, you can share your project with your group members by simply adding their email address. And once you're working with your group, you can assign, um, assign the task to one of your group members just so that they know, hey, this is the thing that you should be working on. Also, here's the due date just to make sure that everyone's kind of on the same page. Um, so Asana is mostly free. Some of their, um, some of the things that they can do aren't. So one of those things is the timeline, but we can use our calendar. And so you'll see our, our dates here. And you can talk, you can post a question or post an update about it. And you can also see all of the different things all the different edits that this task has gone through. Another great thing is you can upload files and all of these files would go right here and you can also have this kind of chat or ongoing discussion with your team members. It's really great, um, especially if you're working on a team. Some good stuff is going on here. And oh, I also wanted to show you how you would attach a file. So let's say I wrote my literature review and I wanted to attach it. I would just go up here to this attach button and then either your, if you have it on your Google Drive, if you have it on your computer, um, that's how you would do that just so that everyone can see it all in one place. Okay, so that's Asana. Trello is a little different, uh, like we've already talked about. Instead of a straight up list, Trello has boards. When you initially create one, it's going to be completely blank. And so it's going to look exactly like this, like this. Um, and so you would just create more and more lists as depending on, you know, what, um, what you're trying to do with it. So let me go back to this one. And this is essentially the same thing that I just showed you on Asana. It just looks different. So I have my overview of tasks here. I can click on them and add more description. You'll see all of the things that have gone on with this task here. 
we can add members to it, we can set a due date, we can attach stuff. So essentially we can do all the same things that Asana does. It, it really just comes down to, a, to the aesthetics and how you like to look at things. Again, you're gonna see your descriptions of different things, all the good stuff, all the things that I've done to this task. Um, and you're gonna invite your um, team members the same way you would do on Asana. Just add their email address and you're good to go. And um, you can also change the background, so that's fun. It, it really just depends on on what you like to look at. Um, if you're not a list person, this might be a little bit more appealing to you, but if you are, I would definitely suggest working with Asana. Alrighty, so those are the two main two main project management softwares or um, websites that I would suggest you use or get comfortable using. You can also use these other, um, any of these other softwares or websites. It, it really does come down to what you're comfortable with and how much information you feel like you need to put on these types of calendars. But yeah, if you need more help, if you need help um, setting up an account, or if you need help um, with the dissertation calendar or anything like that, please feel free to contact us. And you can find all of our contact information on the library's homepage under About. And you'll hit People. And you'll see all of us here with our email addresses as well as our extension numbers. So please feel free to contact us if you need us. We're here to help you. So yeah, 